uh, six rejected votes 279 Raila got 6919 Ruto got 51402 Maura 60 Wajakoya 125 now we run over to uh, Harambe house uh, but okay we'll head there in a few but I can see at least uh, the PS for foreign affairs um, is there um, that is Ambassador Masharia Kamau, uh, who is the PS for uh, foreign affairs, um, and several other people there, uh, senior government officials, of course, and we'll see who emerges from that door any minute from now, uh, but we are live from Harambe House. Looking at these results, Jane, um, as announced by the IEBC, the total number of registered voters vis-a-vis -vis the number of people who came out to vote tell you uh, tells you it's a quite number of people who avoided this exercise completely. Again, and you know, just looking at um, how historic these elections will be. Mm. Number one, looking at the voter turnout. Number two, looking at the thorough process that IEBC has undertaken. When they were telling us they're preparing for these general elections, we can clearly see that's what they meant. And number three, I've actually just seen a tweet of somebody saying that this year the elections were designed to be slow deliberately to ensure that transparency is at the center of this conversation. Mm. And much as the numbers were not as was expected by both uh, um, the IEBC and even us, the general population and the media fraternity, we still await to see the final uh, numbers as it will be verified and announced by the chair that is Wafula Chibukati. Victor. Mm. Just on to, to add on top of that list that you've given out, uh, Kyoria, mm. uh, there's an information here that Kirina Governor Anwar Guru has successfully defended her seat, um, brushing off a scare from. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, woman representative, Purity Rishi. Mm. Um, provisional results at the conclusion of tallying in Moya constituency show that Waiguru has garnered 113,088 votes uh, against Purity Rishi, 109,433, bringing to a close. All right, let's head over to Harambe House. This is uh, uh, the head of public service, uh, Joseph Kinua. Uh, let's hear what he has to say. Probably this could be the assumption uh, to office uh, committee. assumption of the office of the president committee. The committee is established pursuant to the assumption of the office of the president act, that is act number 21 of year 2012 and in furtherance of article 141 of our constitution. The committee's core mandate is to facilitate a smooth transition from the current administration to the incoming administration. Substantively, the mandate of the committee will be triggered once the independent electoral and boundaries commission formally announces the results of the 9th August 2022 presidential election and declares a president-elect. In accordance with the primary act of uh, Parliament, the functions of the assumption of the office of the President Committee are to one, facilitate handling over the process, the handing over the process of the outgoing President uh, to the President elect. Two, organize for the security of the President elect. Three, organize for the necessary facilities and personnel for the president-elect. Four, coordinate the briefings of the president-elect by relevant public officers. Five, facilitate communication between the outgoing president and the president-elect. And last but not least, 
prepare the program and organize for the swelling in ceremony. Finally, I wish to inform you we will be making periodic briefings to the nation as the transition process kicks off. I thank you.